7.32, just dropped my kids off. Yesterday I figured that the camera battery needed to charge really bad and uh, I don't want to overcharge it. And then someone who's going to be there, a pal of mine, said they'd be willing to unplug the battery from the wall and set it up aside for me. Well, it occurred to me after thanking this person for their help, I have a key again. For a while there, my key was useless after they had rekeyed the locks, security procedures. Um, but I do have a key again, and I, I really should just go switch it out with the other one. So that's on my way to do anything in town, so I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to the gym. It's not going to be a leg day, because my legs are still really hurting. Um, I, I got another comment that I'm a David Lynch character. It's just escaped from Twin Peaks or something. I, I don't know. Was missing. Um, you're not wrong. <laughs> so I took all the art off the walls yesterday. I had some help with that. Uh, one of the kiddos helped to gently pull these big old poster boards down that were stuck up there with poster putty. And then um, that left some poster putty on the walls that she couldn't reach, so I ran around, you know, getting that stuff off there. Um, taking the paintings down, which was a lot easier than hanging them up in the first place. Normally, we would have somebody organizing this. I guess I'm just going to fall into this job. And normally, we would want some paintings up in you know, for, for the first service in April. We've got a memorial service happening the afternoon of, I think it's the third. So I said, let's leave the walls bare and give, give this person's family a chance to, to uh, ask, you know, that relevant things be put up, like family photos. I, I don't know if if he had painted or anything like that. Um, if he had any band type memorabilia because he was a musician, that would be cool. But I think preparing for the memorial service is gonna take precedent over having art on the walls. Nobody is here, so I'm gonna assume I'm here before said church pal. Park in the middle of the parking lot like I don't even care because the stripes are wearing off. Go move this battery. Man, a little more yellow and this place would be totally liminal space back rooms vibe. So empty. We used to use this room for snacks. Now it's just lots of chairs. We took out every other row uh, for social distancing. We're at half capacity anyway. Uh, I wasn't sure when my friend was going to get here, so. That's the rule. You go in the building, you pop one on. Alright, it is... It's 5.23. Um, I'm having a day. Uh, I have to run out here shortly and go get one of my kids um, a shot that apparently they need for next year. So the nurse let me know they're running behind on this. And then the nurse let me know like a week ago said kiddo is not wanting to cooperate. But I made another healthy dinner and foisted vegetables upon my children and they're not thrilled with it but they'll eat anyway because that's what they do. Um, this was a pre-made quiche Lorraine from H-E-B that's, uh, where's my kids know it? Bacon, egg, and cheese pie. Um, another thing I picked up at H-E-B was a sweet, uh, sesame Asian salad. Since we don't like, uh, we don't like ranch dressing right here for some reason. I don't know. I do. Um, that's 
some baby carrots of mixed variety, you know, white, purple, orange, whatnot, and um, mixed berry tea. Lots of color, lots of veggies. I don't want to try to log all of this in my app, so I may even skip that, but as as heavy as I is on the veggies, that's got to be good for me. Anyway, back to watching my baloney on YouTube. I think I just messed up my nail polish. I did. That's okay. I can fix it. Uh, it is 11.44, and I'm actually going to grab my nail polish real quick and just handle this. It's been a weird evening. It's been a long evening. After running out for this blasted vaccine, because these things have got to be kept up to date because school, your kid's not up to date on the right stuff. Some, sometimes they will kick them out until, uh, until they get caught up. Um... I think I just got nail polish in my hair. Uh, this wouldn't be the first time. I have been watching a lot of YouTube today. I um, had it running in the car, listening to it. Bruce showed me a few videos he's been watching and that's been really weird. Um, not safe for work, lots and lots of swearing, but pretty funny in a really, really awful way raccoon eggs that that is the name of this person's channel raccoon eggs and it's awful and it's hilarious and i was about choking listening to one of these videos awful <laughs> um trying to catch up on some of the youtube drama which has this weird habit of turning into not, not derogatory, but I mean literally, gay men criticizing obese women. And I messed up my nail polish again, bumping it. Um, I am not meant for this stuff. So, uh, I was looking up something from, what was it? I was looking up some stuff on the, uh, Gnostic Gospels, stuff they left out of the Bible, stuff it's like, didn't belong, but it's also mentioned later in the, like, end of the Old Testament. That got weird. Um, so I was, I was gonna go look up some of this stuff, right, which is very complicated and, and very strange and very overlooked uh, in the mainstream and I wound up with an ad I've had a million times before about uh, this course that some college, I think it's Hillsdale College, puts on for free which, by the way college is way way, way, way out of my price range but Apparently, they like get into um, like a really deep dive just on Genesis. And they've got this whole course on it, so I thought I'd take a look. So I signed up for that. Um, didn't get much out of the introduction. You know, I was just starting to uh, to get into the the first lecture, and I was like, you know what? I'll be up all night or I'll fall asleep listening to it and neither one is is gonna get me anywhere with actually looking at this as a course. So I'll look at that again tomorrow, maybe if I'm bored when I should be getting some editing done because I'm almost a month behind. But it will give me something to do as uh, things are gonna get a little tougher for me. So we're going into April, and I'm going to be about ready for another round of injections. I don't think there's a time limit on it. I think it's just there. I might just get bored and forget all about it. That's also okay. I should have edited something today. Even just, even just a little bit. 
Didn't do it. Meant to. Didn't, but... I tried to go to Walmart. John passed me like 20 bucks and he goes, you know, I, I want a $10 Robux card, you know, uh, it's online gaming stuff. And I'm like, okay. So I go to Walmart and they didn't have any. So I got some change, gave him back his 10 bucks, bought the card code on Amazon. It's been a really long day. I haven't even turned my TV on at any point. I don't feel relaxed at all, and I gotta try to sleep because there's tomorrow to look forward to. And Irving is still hanging out in the corner in my skirt. If I had a feather boa, I would put it on him just for my own amusement. A little bit of Rocky Horror Picture Show in the background because well, I'm bored, if nothing else. Thanks for sharing my day with me.